Hey everybody, Final Thoughts time for Golden Sales, which is a neat, neat little game. There is a lot to like in this tiny little uh, card drafting game. And um, it's actually, I guess, a sequel to Viceroy. It's from the same designer set in the same fantasy universe. And Jen, I loved Viceroy. Absolutely, you know, I just loved it to bits. And this we've really enjoyed. I'm actually lucky. It's very rare that I get to play games with more than two. I've played this as a two-player game with Jen, and I've actually played it as a four-player game with some folks who recently visited. And I can definitely say the game really sings with at least three or four players. At two players, it's okay, it works, but I really do think the designer missed a trick by not introducing some kind of dummy so that, you know, in a two-player game you have a third player so that, oh, my attacks can attack to the left or the right, and, um, you know, there, there's, there's more opportunities for the cards to grab in the draft every round. I mean, I can see a dummy working really simple of just, okay, every turn, um, you know, just pull a... Uh, you know, a, a specialist randomly and get put on one of the cards and that would just be more interesting choices for the players, more opportunities for the interplay and, um, you know, and having the, okay, uh, go turn order and then counterclock, you know, anti-turn order, it would work a lot better because as a four-player game, wow. This is a great game. Very fast, just 12 rounds in total, but a lot to think about. And every round, deciding which, um, what you're going to turn the, a given card into, whether you're going to try and make it good for you, knowing full well you might not be able to get that, or try to make it a bad card for everybody else, knowing full well you might get stuck with it, but you can never be sure because of the way the turn order works is absolutely brilliant. Um, and like I said, as a two-player game, not so much, but as a four-player game, and I assume by association a three-player game, really, really nice. Although there's one other thing you got to know going into Golden Sales as well. This is a mean, mean, mean game. And I know I say that a lot. I know I sometimes uh, you know tick people off with how much uh, how quick I am to label something as a mean game. But here's the thing, you know. Card drafting, it's pretty, pretty standard, uh, you know, in, in pretty much all of these games, that there's a little bit of what is called hate drafting. I've got these cards in my hand, I am going to pick one, and then give the rest to somebody else, and they're going to pick one, and I always have that interesting choice of, do I take one that's good for me, or do I take this one that's not so great for me, but if I give it to you, it's really awesome for you, the person who's going to go next. Um, this game has that as well, but the interesting thing is you have this extra step. The, you know, the first go round and then the second go. The second go round is when you actually draft after everything is defined. So on that first go round, as often as not. When you're deciding what you're going to label a card as, you can look around and say, "Oh my gosh, you need that really bad. You really need that dragon, don't you?" It's not a dragon anymore. It's a gem. I don't need a gem. I don't care about that gem. I'm going to end up taking something else. I'm just making sure you don't get that dragon. The game is full of that. And really, to play it at its best, you have to be paying close attention. Because everybody has, on public display, what they're building up, where their big scoring opportunities are, and um, so you're definitely very, very involved. You make all your choices, taking into careful consideration what everybody else's strengths and weaknesses are. And that's the thing. If you're a player who likes a lot of interactivity, you can really stomp on your opponent's dreams in this game. Um, you know, I've been going the whole game, I just need this, I'm a whole game I'm trying to get this dragon. This is my last. Nope, dragon's gone. Um, you know, and that, that you know that doesn't ruin the game at all. It just means you know you have to really play fast on your toes. You have to pay attention to turn order because um, you know if you are the last player in turn order, you have an incredible amount of power because you get to define a card and then immediately take a card. If you're the first player, you to a certain extent have an immediate amount of power because well, okay, whatever I define, chances are I'm not going to get it unless I just make it something that's really bad for everybody else. But when it comes back around to me and I don't get a choice of a card, I can reprogram the card with what I've got left. So you can do some really cool moves too. And if you're in the middle, if you're neither the first nor the last player, well, you're just trying to make the best move you can waiting until you're the first or the last player because it'll always end up going around everybody. It's uh, 12 rounds, so whether you're playing two, three, or four, everybody gets you know, an equal number of you know, shots at the table. It's really sharp, really fun, gorgeous, absolutely lovely looking, and if you 
are um, if you're playing with three or four, because again, I, I, as a two-player game, it, uh, I almost felt bad actually running through it as a two-player game because I'm really not doing the game justice. Is the two players okay? It's a shame. I think the two-player could have been great with a, I would imagine a pretty simple to design house rule variant. I can imagine one that would make this work well as a two-player game, but it's it sings as a three and four-player game, if you are willing to play the kind of game where you spend just as much time thinking about how you can ruin your opponent as how you can build yourself up. And that's it, folks. That is Golden Sales. Now, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, always please let me know. Otherwise, hope you have a very, very nice day. Talk to you later. So long. Bye-bye.